Hi all, PlantSide Agent here. Today we're going to do a test between the standard Trangia alcohol burner and a second test with using carbon felt in the burner cup. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. I recently had a commenter asking about uh, a burn test or performance of uh, the uh, Trangia alcohol burner with uh, putting carbon felt inside the uh, burner cup here. Uh, seems like I tried this once to, um, didn't impress me, but I can't really remember, it's been a while. Also, uh, it seems like I've se I have seen videos where people uh, put carbon felt or other uh, wicking material inside the, uh, the burner cup of the Trangia to supposedly improve performance. So. I really don't know, so I thought this would be a good opportunity just to do a couple of burn tests. One, a baseline without the uh, carbon felt, and a second with the carbon felt. So that's what we're going to do today. So uh, to start, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set things up for the uh, without carbon felt burn, and we'll get right back to you. Okay, I'm all set up. Um, I'm going to use, for this burn, I'm going to use a, a pot stand made out of this uh, hardware cloth so that we can get a better look at the burn when it's going, so we can make a comparison between the burn with and without the carbon felt. Okay, to get started, I've got uh, 16 ounces of 52, whoop, went up a degree, 53 degree water. <laughs> and I'm going to... Uh, actually weigh the fuel this time which is probably the better way to run all these boil tests but I, I haven't been doing it so I decided to get a little more scientific today so I did weigh the fuel that's in there and after the burn we'll see how much it burned that way we can get a better comparison between performance on the uh, the two versions of the stove so right now just for you it's 128 grams so I'll go ahead and uh, weigh it when everything's all done and we'll see how much alcohol it burned so anyway I think I think I'm ready. There we go. I'll go ahead and let this bloom before I put the pot on. There'll be a little variation with uh, fuel and burn time probably on uh, when it blooms. Yeah, it looks like it's about ready. Yeah, it looks like it's going. I'm going to go ahead and put the pot on. It shouldn't make any real difference. And there it goes. All right, we're off. I'm going to uh, go ahead and turn the lights off, and I'll give you a view of the burn pattern. And there's your burn pattern. Oh, and always, I'm using yellow heat for my fuel. All right, getting close. 210, nine and a half minutes. So here the water is starting to get angry in there. So anytime, 211. There we go. We'll go 939 on the boil time. All right, I'm going to uh, go ahead and shut this down. I can get this on. A bad habit of not getting these caps on like that. Gone. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let this cool down so I can measure how much fuel was used, and then I'll start getting set up for the next video. All right, I weighed the uh, fuel usage, and uh, the first burn used 22 grams of alcohol. Now I'll start getting set up for the second one. I did, went ahead and uh, put in a coiled up piece of carbon felt. You can see it comes up to oh, just about a quarter of an inch from the uh, top of the uh, the uh, boil cup or the alcohol cup. So I'll go ahead and let things finish cooling down and set up for the next burn. Okay, I'll set up for this burn. I have uh, 16 ounces of this time 54 degree water. It's 53 last time. Uh, so we'll have a about a one degree error in our burn test, but it shouldn't really make a lot of difference in your performance. We'll see. Uh, 
the stove is uh, the burner's all fueled up and weighed and I think uh, zeroed out yep we're ready to go so you light this guy off and let him come to a bloom I'm wondering if this is going to bloom very quickly or at all when I tried the uh, carbon felt in the, the old Moonlander stove uh, it hit would not uh, it just wouldn't it just wouldn't bloom and it didn't work <laughs> this one's also going very slow uh, I'm just gonna let this sit for a while to see how long it takes to uh, bloom I probably should have timed the bloom on it since it is making a difference you notice the last one it bloomed fairly quickly so I'm not sure how long we've been at it but you can see it's just nice blue flame but uh, the jets haven't really fired off yet and I think what's happening is it's, yeah, there, it's trying, to, it's trying to bloom now. Finally. That took quite a while. Let's go ahead and put the uh, pot on. There, it's going. It did bloom, which uh, <laughs> the uh, Moonlander stove did not. So we'll see uh, what kind of performance we get with the carbon felt. And there's your burn pattern. I think it's the same. <laughs> now we're getting close, 210, but we're at 10 minutes and 11 seconds, so definitely slower with the carbon felt than without. The big question is, will it use more or less fuel? Yep, getting darn close. Again, the water's angry. There we go. We'll say uh, 1025 on the boil time. So uh, the other one was 939. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, power this all down so I can uh, weigh the fuel. See if I can get the uh, snuffer on this time in one in one fall. Hey! So I'll uh, get back to you when I get everything cooled down and weighed. Okay, everything's all uh, cooled down and put away, so let's summarize. Okay, the uh, Trangia burner without the carbon felt, it... Uh, burned took uh, nine minutes and 39 uh, seconds to boil uh, two cups of water at 53 and it used 22 grams of fuel the uh, burner with the carbon felt in it it uh, took 10 minutes and 25 seconds uh, for 16 degree 54 degree water so it was a degree warmer than the previous test and it used 24 grams so it actually took longer and burned more fuel I, I don't know what the science behind that is. Uh, so I, I really don't see any advantage to having the carbon felt in here, except that maybe you're prone to klutzism or you camp with klutzes that have a habit of knocking stoves over, although this thing is pretty low profile and it'd be pretty hard to tip, not to say it can't be done. So if you're worrying about fuel spillage, um, also with the carbon felt, you're not be able to easily take the fuel out of the stove any excess fuel so that's another one and I think another disadvantage of having the carbon felt in here is as, as uh, you saw in the this one it took a long long time to bloom I didn't time it I should have just out of curiosity but it was probably a minute or so um, for without it was negligible the time it took to uh, bloom but it took much longer so and I think that's because in order for these jets to work you have to pressure you have to heat up the fuel or pressurize it so that uh, the vapors will come out of the jets well with the carbon felt in there I think it kind of insulates around the inner wall so it won't let it heat up quite as fast it did finally bloom I was wondering whether it's going to bloom at all but uh, it did eventually bloom but I don't uh, don't see any advantage of having the carbon felt uh, the only other thing I could think of it might make a difference if as you can see, the carbon felt is only about a quarter. Maybe if I cut that in half, so you just have enough in the bottom to keep it from spilling, but not enough to affect the bloom, and it might burn quicker. Uh, you know, I, I don't, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I, I'm not that curious about it. Uh, maybe I will later on if I get bored and want to do it. But for right now, I'm just going to say... Uh, I wouldn't bother. If you want to, that's totally up to you, but I'm just going to use the uh, burner as is. So 
Well, I can't think of anything else to say about this little test, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.